Hey, welcome back to SDR Unfiltered. I'm Bill Faith, your host, also founder of 29 Startups Build STR Wealth and the STR Wealth Conference. All right, today we're going to talk about bringing guests back time and time again. How do you do this? It's really simple. You got to funnelize them. Um, you should have some semblance of a CRM. That's number one. So that way you can do a tagging system. And then number two, you need to have an, at least an email funnel. And if you want to go to the intermediate or advanced level, then you want to have an email funnel, which is a series of emails that are, you know, pre-written. They're going to go out over a period of time. And if you're tied to a CRM, you can actually, you know, trigger different emails to go based on their action. That's advanced, but you can also include some text messages. And if you can include text messages, then you can include video, which is really cool. That's one of the reasons that um, I introduced Market My STR um, because with Market My STR, you can actually do what I just said. You can build funnels um, all day long. You can include them uh, for guests after they've checked out. It really increases the opportunity of them coming back. Uh, to visit your property. I love Market My STR. Actually, I've had a lot of technology, but I haven't had the ability to combine the three critical elements of email, text messaging, and marketing into a funnel because I used to have to use different platforms for that. Now inside of Market My STR, they're all in one platform and it makes it super duper easy. So here's the deal. Guest checks out. Here's step one for me of the funnel. I send a text message to the guests on the day of checkout around 4 p.m. And it's really simple. The text message just says, you know, hey, Bob, hopefully you and the family made it home safely. Um, you know, if there's anything that, that I can do for you in the future, please let me know. Um, I loved having you as a guest, and I hope you'll come back and stay with us again. Um, and I've already left you a five-star review, blah, blah, blah. And use like star for the, use some emojis, happy face, that type of stuff. Um, and then the last thing that I'll put in there is, by the way, hey, uh, keep an eye on your inbox. I'm sending you a, a very important email tomorrow. And then the first email goes out on day number two. So checkouts day number one, text message goes out at four o'clock. Day number two at about 6.45 a.m., email number one goes out on day number two. Email number one says, hey, Bob, you know, hopefully you got my text last night. Uh, just wanted to follow up with you and thank you again for being an amazing guest and staying with us at ABC Property. That's the cool thing of having an email marketing software with a CRM like Market My STR is you just use a first name token and it will automate that to Bob. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in the in the email, it says that and then it says, Bob, you know, we really value, you know, guests that are, take great care of our property. And I'm paraphrasing because I don't have this in front of me. And we basically just thank Bob for being an amazing guest. And then we give Bob the opportunity to book with us at any of our properties in our entire portfolio with a 10% discount. And if he books direct, he'll not only get a 10% discount, but you know he's going to save on the Airbnb or Verbo booking fees. But he's got to do that within the next seven days. You can do 10 days, but you have, anytime you're going to run a promo, you have to have an end time to it so you can drive some urgency. Then the cool thing, once again, about having a software that will do this for you, you can, if you follow me and you're on my email list, you know when I'm selling something, I give you a reminder the last day, hey, it's carts closing, boot camp tickets are, pricing is increasing, we're going to be sold out, five left, whatever, it's creating urgency to get people to take action. People need a nudge off the fence, and it's the same thing for them to come back and book with us. So you can send an automated email that says, hey, Bob, just wanted to remind you, uh, tonight at midnight is your last day to be able to take advantage of the 10% discount. If you have any questions, here's my personal cell phone number. Would absolutely, my family and I would absolutely love to host you again uh, at one of our properties. Blah, blah, blah. Very simple. That's email number two. And that goes out the day of whatever day you decide that offer's going away. So for me, that's day number seven. So I'm literally sending a text message and two emails in the first week after a guest checks out. Now, one strategy that is super important has nothing to do with the, the funnel per se on how you execute that, but there's always like a PS that I put in. If you see my emails, probably 90% of them have a PS in it. So what I do with my guests is in the PS, and I do it like every other email. I don't do it every single email. I'm gonna say, hey, Bob, just wanted to give you a heads up. I'm gonna be sending you an email in three days, five days, two weeks. So keep an eye, if you see my name in your inbox, it's gonna have something special for you in it. Since I'm really not really ever selling, I'm just trying to add value for Bob and that next email after that might be um, you know, the top five 
things, I'm just going to use a blank, the top five blank in your market that locals love that tourists don't know about, right? So it could be best sushi restaurants, hiking trails, um, you know, bathhouses in Hot Springs, Arkansas, barbecue, uh, you know, in Memphis, whatever it is, whatever your market is known for, right? So like I'm going to Gulf Shores tonight. So, you know, it could be dolphin tours or a place to get fresh seafood daily, those types of things that most tourists, unless they've gone there year after year for many years, they don't know where to find those things. Um, and it's like, Hey, by the way, if you enjoyed the beach, you should check out uh, our mountain property in, in Banner Elk to cool off. Something cool, something funny, not salesy, just something like that. Oh, hey, you know what? You want to go to – everybody loves Montana. Did you see that last episode of Yellowstone or do you think Yellowstone's coming back? You can have the Yellowstone experience in our Montana property. And that's always at the bottom and it's just very subtle and with a link, typically in the text. Um, I'm trying to drive value in every single email, hence – why I want to give them that top five. Um, and so that email would go out about 30 days roughly. So now I'm going to get into like a monthly sequence um, to where, you know, I've got this whole thing mapped out and I want to send an email once a month. Now, a lot of you may, may think about, wow, why? I, I don't know what to, to write. You know, that's hard. I got to write like 12 or you're, you're sending out two emails in the first week and then one every month in the text message, you're talking like 12 to 15 things I got to write you know, over the course of the next year. Well, let ChatGPT do that for you. Type in broken bow and, you know, visitors' favorite things to do as a prompt. And you, it could be broken bow, it could be Blue Ridge, it can be Logan, Ohio, whatever. And let ChatGPT tell you what the, the best things are. What's, what's the most requested? What are the best tourist attractions? What are the, what are the funnest things to do that visitors don't know about? They're, they know that stuff. Or do your own research and then just introduce them and you write, write about those things and send that to them. And then at the very end, just interject your own message about your properties. That, that email that goes out introducing them to the rest of my portfolio, kind of what I consider an indoctrination uh, you know, email, is the only time, the only time, I shouldn't say only, it's one of the very, very few times that I send out a link to my entire portfolio. Because that's when I want him to see Colorado and Arizona and Montana and North Carolina, my lake property in Alabama, the Gulf in Alabama, all that type of stuff. Um, and I even, because I co-host as well, I even include the co-hosting properties. Um, I mean, I still make 20% if they book off the co-hosting properties. For most, it's even better to co-host than it is to book your own property. So um, I'm going to introduce them to everything in that property. So if, And if you do that, just make sure your website is very well put together. Like I see a lot of these websites that are built for, um, you know, property managers or co-hosts. And it's just like, here's all, here's a list of all of our, our, all of our properties, break them down by location. Here's our mountain properties. Here's our beach properties, or here's our properties in these States, break them down to make it easier for them to be able to filter. Um, because that ease of use of navigating your emails, navigating your, your sales pages, your website's going to increase conversion. So, the, the sentiment of what goes into the email content, into the funnel content. And that's a great thing about something like Market My SDR is you can set this up one time. Like have one two or three hour session on chat GPT. You can knock out all these emails and then just load them up, set them up with the tags and set them up with the timing and you're done. Set it and forget it. And it's like if you download one of my lead magnets, you know, you go in and we'll talk about lead magnets in a whole nother episode. But everything that, that's sent to you is funnelized. But what I do is I let the, the replies come back to my personal email. And a lot of people will say, I don't know if you'll see this. And I freaking reply immediately. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. I'm watching. I, I'm here. I want to help you. Right? So if you do reply, you will get my reply uh, immediately. And sometimes I might shoot a quick video. If they're like, I know Bill won't be replying to this, I'll say, hey, Tom, this is Bill. I just read your fucking email. This is my reply about your problem or about what's holding you back that you just talked about. Um, and doing those things with your guests to personalize, right? Anytime that you can grab this thing and do this with your guests, like in the welcome uh, message, the welcome video that I text to my guests or even after they stay is extremely powerful. I would love for you guys not to send an automated text message the day of checkout at four o'clock. And I'd love for you to say, Hey, thanks for staying with us. You know, there's a literally just got a notification about a review that was left by, you know, one of my guests. And hopefully if I click into it, it's a five-star review. 
How about thanking your guests that left you five-star reviews and inviting them to come back? They're your ideal guest. They gave you a five-star review. If they gave you a five-star review, they probably, hopefully they were a good guest. They were a five-star guest as well. So if you have that reciprocation of they gave you a five-star review and you gave them a five-star review, if you're not following up with them, you're leaving money on the table. You are leaving money on the table. And there's no question, it's harder today to get people to come back to the same property. So if you do have a couple of other properties, one or two or three or 10 or 20, then you're gonna have a much better chance because people want different experiences today. And that's just one thing is an added bonus that I'll give to you is if you only have one property, find some people like in the Build Short Term Rental Wealth Facebook group or in, in our community. And if you're at the beach, find some people in the Smokies or you know, in Broken Bow or in North Carolina, Montana, wherever, find them in different climates. So that way you could maybe part, hey, could you guys do referral fees? I only have one property and I'd love to refer my you know, people to your property and then get an affiliate link and do some referrals. That's another way that you can make money without having to invest. There's a lot of options. But none of that works if you're not following up. So the recommendation is, is two or three touch points within the, the first seven days. I do one text, two emails. Set the table for that next message. Hey, Bill, by the way, I'm going to be sending you an email in, in two or three days. Hey, Bill, by the way, I'm going to be sending you an email in once a month in four weeks. Right? Always feel free to, free to re hit the reply button, and I will reply to you personally. The more personal we can make it, the better our open rates will be, the better our conversion rates will be. And then start, once you go through that first sequence, like the first, uh, probably the first week, then you want to just send an email about once a month. And it's about content that is going to benefit your guest. Do that and you will bring more guests back year after year. Thanks for joining me on this episode of STR Unfiltered. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode.